Hey, what's going on everyone? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the SkyTech um, light boxes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly everything that this came with, how to set them up. Um, I'll walk you through all the different components, and then we're gonna actually do a demo of the actual lighting and show you all the different options with the remote. So let's first start with the installation and some of the pieces it came with. Um, you get two of these um, basically out of the box and this actually comes with a large carrying case. So each of the bulbs basically come in this box here and I've already unboxed one of them. You'll have your, um, your actual soft box piece, the actual shroud that's up here. In this packaging, you've got your bulb here and then this is the actual stand. So you'll have two of these, again in the bag, you open this all up. You'll basically um, take this, this out um, raise the center piece here and you can tighten this um, piece here to prevent this from moving. You then have two adjustment points here in the middle so you can actually raise this up and you do have a um, power switch here so if you want to manually turn this on or off you have that ability you can see now the lights on here but this won't give you any functionality in terms of some of the different settings you can do with the bulb you have another adjustment point here and this is the actual piece itself you'll have to loosen this nut put this down onto the actual base, and then you can actually adjust this on the other side, whichever height or whichever angle you want this pointing, and then you can again tighten this up. Now on the actual covering, you have Velcro that lines all of the edges basically on each side. So this side I already tightened, but um, just to give you some idea of the bulb and all the settings, I'm actually gonna turn this off and then we'll go back and do a demo, but I wanna show you what this actually looks like and how to set it up. Um, so these basically just clip over the top. There's nothing else specific about it. There's just a little bit of extra room here. So this is gonna clip over the soft box top. And um, when you initially take this out, this is gonna be all compacted. There's gonna be a ring that's down here, this plastic ring. You're just gonna kind of push this over the base of the circular part where the bulb goes in. And then this is the bulb itself. It's a pretty heavy duty LED bulb. Um, the great thing about this is this does have some adjustability options with the remote that it came with. I'm gonna put the cover back on so we're not blasting ourselves with light. Um, but basically, once we have this tightened, we're now able to seal all the Velcro on all the sides and we're pretty much ready to go. We get this adjusted where we need it. Um, I typically do a lot of content reviews. So for example, I was just reviewing this item over here and traditionally I'll mount my camera here and I had some of these small lights like this one over here. I've got this other kind of desk light here but they're both uneven light, really wasn't great. So I wanted to get something like this and so far I'm very impressed. This is the remote that you have to control this. So pretty much we have our power button. This will turn it on. And I believe I may have to hit the switch here first. And now I think this is actually active. Yeah, so now the remote's active. This is the basic setting. You have an automatic setting here as well on the remote. I'm not sure what this setting does. And then you have some brightness settings. So if I wanna reduce the brightness, I can actually do that. And you can see it's um, lowering the brightness on the actual light. You can change the dimness by percentage. So you can do 20. 50 or even 100%, which is really bright. And then you have a few other options as well. So you can do warm light, which almost gives off like a very yellowish tint. You can do a cold light, which is a very blue, but still very bright. And then you can do a more of a pure white. So you have a lot of different options here. There's also a sleep mode. So this is a very dim, like very nighttime mode. Um, not 100% again on this one. This is like, almost looks like a recycling icon. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. And then you also have a, a K plus and a K minus. And that looks like it'll just rotate through some of the different color modes. So a lot of options here. I do have, um, this custom made Nintendo controller that also has an LED light. And I noticed while controlling this, some of my functions on that light are actually also being triggered as well. So one thing to keep in mind is if you have other uh, lighting, RGB, things like that within your home, obviously this could end up interrupting with some of that. But for me, really not a big deal. And I could always shut this off manually or just unplug it while I'm filming if it's gonna be in the way. Otherwise, I'm very happy with this kit. This looks absolutely awesome and I'm very happy with the way it all turned out. I think um, if you're looking for a kit like this where you could just add some really awesome lighting, whether or not it's you know, just you talking on camera, highlighting things that you're gonna be doing, whatever that may be, this is gonna be a really good solution. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. I hope you found it helpful and I'll talk to you later.